happy friends. Today we have Amy as a guest. Say hi, Amy. Hi. So Amy brought to me a challenge. She loves, what do you love? Carbonara. Carbonara. But she has one thing which I found out lots of people have problems with. She has problems where it scrambles the eggs. So we've tirelessly worked out this recipe together. We've done this before too, right? Yeah. Yes, and we don't scramble the eggs, so I made the perfect recipe for you so you can have the most delicious carbonara. It only has a couple ingredients in it too, so it's wonderful. So you ready to start? Right. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna take some pancetta, about four ounces, you're gonna put it right in there, okay? With the olive oil, go ahead, just go crazy. Just like it's, you know, me and Amy tonight are doing a movie night with Tom, and we're gonna watch Love Actually and Eat Pasta Carbonara. It's girls' night. Are you excited? And you're gonna let this go slowly and slowly to render out the fat. That was a great question. For about three minutes, on low, it's sizzling a lot. If it's sizzling too much, lower it a little bit more. And now we're gonna take some garlic. I like to take the garlic and cut up into these coins, just like this. You just cut up just like that, so it doesn't burn. Because one of the things is these things burn really quickly when you chop it up finely. So take that, and six cloves of garlic, throw that right in there. And the reason why you go slow with it, get all that garlic, is because you go slow with the oil and the pancetta, and so it renders out the fat. So you already got some sauce right in there. All right, so here comes the fun part. I'm also gonna take a big pinch. You know how many, what a pinch is? Do you know? No. Three fingers. And throw it right into there as well too. So the dinosaur kale, like a single kale, is a darker kale, and you can actually eat the stem. You don't have to pull it apart. You just want to cut off the bottom part of it because it's a little fibrous, and then you cut it just like this in here. But because let's we'll just rip it in there. Right over there. We have some already done by our full team of of master chefs. Throw that in there too, please. So watch this, guys. We're gonna throw that in there. And then we are going to put a big pinch of salt and a big pinch of pepper. So here you go, Amy. You're going to put a three pin finger pinch of pepper and three finger pinch of salt in there. Lots of salt and pepper in there. Good. You did a great job. Are you, yes. Are you excited? You're nervous about the egg part, right? Yeah. What are you nervous about? Rambling the eggs. Rambling the eggs. And any time you have dark leafy green vegetables, Amy, you're going to put six shakes of a microplane of nothing in there. Mm, just brings up that flavor. So mix this up for me, okay? okay. Your favorite part's coming up soon. Are you excited? No, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm gonna eat. Here we go. So you're gonna crack an egg, okay? You're good at cracking an egg. This is all we have for camera. So put it like that and just put it right in there. Just like that. What? Oh my god, you did so good. Thanks. I wish we could do it like this. And then what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna mix this up. So we're gonna, you just poke the hole in there. You're gonna mix it just like that. And I like to season everything that's happening. So a little pepper, a little salt. Oops, sorry about that. I hit the camera. All right. All right, so now to help with the idea of this not scrambling, we're gonna put the cheese in right now. So why don't you pour the cheese right into there? Oh, it's, cheese is there. The whole thing, it's one cup of cheese. You're so good, she's like a natural. <laughs> All right, here you go, and, then, and mix it up. You get to mix it up. Yeah, just mix the whole thing up. I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit for you. Okay. So guys, while she's mixing it up, I made bucatini already, um, and it's like a fat spaghetti with like a little hole inside, like a straw. Um, I baked that al dente, which means one minute early, one minute early, and I saved some of the pasta water as well too, so we can make a little extra sauce when it seems a little dry. All right, mix that like crazy. Here. Close up, please. Close up. This is good. That's perfect. So now I'm going to take that and I put the bucatini in there. This is Amy's most scary part. Okay, just like that. Now we shut off the heat. No heat under there, right? So this is the part we shut off the heat. Now, how simple is this, Amy? If you left out the kale, all it is is pancetta, garlic, eggs, and cheese. How amazing is that? It's so easy. All right. So put it in there. And actually, you know what? To make it a little bit looser, just pour a little bit of this in there. Again, mix it around. Is that hot? No, it's a little bit cooler. But even if it's hot, it's okay because you're tempering it. So you're taking a little bit of the warm liquid, putting it in there to temper it. Now mix it in there. You ready? All right, here we go. Are you ready? You're nervous? I'm nervous. All right, yeah, do it in. Is it going to scramble? No, no, no. Pour it in. Pour it in. Slowly drizzle it in. Ready? You get, you're so good. She's like ready for things. For all of this. All right, and I'm gonna mix it around. I'm gonna mix it around. Now the pasta's warm and the kale's warm and all that's warm. And we're just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Just keep mixing it. Sorry, I got a little bit. Mixing it around. 
And remember, this is what we get right there, and you get a beautiful, oh my god, look how creamy that is. Look how instantly that gets so creamy. And look, it's in scramble. No scramble. It's in scramble. It's in scramble at all. And now, you know, it looks a little dry, so that's why I leave a little bit of pasta water. For any kind of pasta sauce, you do that. Put a little bit more in and just mix it around. How freaking cool is that? Guys, you could totally do this. You just take two eggs and some Parmesan cheese, mix it together with a little bit of the water, and then you boil up some pasta and some bacon and some garlic. Boom, boom, there you go. Ooh. All right, so let's try it. Here you go. I'll let you be the taste tester. It be a little hot, you ready? Let's start right there. So the whole idea of carbonara is the egg makes it very creamy. Here you go. I'm gonna get all of me. You go, girl. Da -da 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 Oh so good, yay! Can I try two? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, to get this recipe, go to chophappy.com. Make yourself a drink as you do this because this is so easy. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Definitely better than a lot of restaurants in New York. I'm like, look at me. Oh, it's so creamy. <laughs> and, and you didn't really yay. How about you? <laughs> Bye, guys. We love you. Chop on, chop happy, and make this dish and show me what you make. Oh, it's so good. This is easy right here.